Hey everybody, it's Karina from Paradium Thrifts and today's video is actually going to be a follow-up video to my what I'm sending in to thread up video that I posted I think like last month or maybe a month two months ago um, I had a couple of you guys ask how that box was doing so I figured I would just show you guys um, I also got in the rejects so the items that they did not accept um, I had those sent back to me um, and I'm gonna show you guys what they didn't take so if you guys haven't seen that first video Watch that before you watch this one so you can kind of get a better idea of what I'm talking about. I'll have it linked below in the description. And yeah, um, I recorded part of this video on another day. So if I'm wearing something different and look a little bit different, that is why. So ThreadUp actually got rid of their Lux program, but I had an extra label laying around, so I decided to use that. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that um, ThreadUp has a delay in their processing times right now. And I think for a lot of people, they're actually not able to order or to request new labels to send things in. So I would just recommend being a little bit patient. If you have any outstanding labels, try to use those um, or ask them to be removed from your account because that could give you a better chance at getting a new label anyway yes to get into this I used a Lux label so it was expedited shipping and expedited processing for no extra fee I don't think um, so that's why my things were accepted really fast um, I had sent in the box on 629 so on June 29th um, is when I shipped it they received the items on July 15th and the whole box was processed by July 18th so it only took them three days to process which is absolutely crazy I've been sending in other boxes after that and it says that they won't be um, processed until like September so I was very fortunate that I had that last label um, I had sent in 13 items and like I said you guys can watch the other video if you want to see exactly what I sent in they accepted eight um, so I'm going to show you guys what they didn't accept and then we'll talk about how I priced everything after hey guys um, I just wanted to do a little follow-up video on my thread up what I'm sending into thread up video that I did a little while ago I got the rejects back um, so these are items that didn't sell um, or sorry that they didn't accept and weren't going to sell on their platform um, honestly I'm just gonna pack these back up and send them back in um, and see if they'll accept them this time but I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what they didn't take so the first thing is this Armani collection collection um, this blazer I don't know why they didn't take it in um, but Chriselle the creator of the thread up course that everybody's talking about um, she just sold one of these for like over a thousand dollars on thread up so definitely sending this back in um, the next piece that they didn't take in is the Valentino um, blazer I am think I don't know I might try to sell this on my own again I'm not sure yet um, this Mara Hoffman one they didn't accept this it's brand new tags but I think there was there might be like a little stain on it or something um, I'll have to double check this one before I send this back in but they didn't take this even though it was new tags um, this one I was kind of surprised about because they had accepted this in the past um, the first time I sent it in they accepted it and it didn't sell so I reclaimed it sent it in again and didn't sell um, but I have sold I sold like the blue version of this one that I sent in for like a hundred something a couple weeks ago so I'm just gonna try it again um, this is a saint I don't know if I said it but it's st. John and then the last thing that they did not accept is this Max Mara um, little jacket and this one I don't I don't know I honestly don't know um, actually I think I know this is missing the hood that's supposed to attach onto it so I'm guessing that's why they didn't accept this but um, so I don't remember how many items I sent in originally I'm gonna look it up but I have one two three four 
five rejects. So those are all of the items that they did not take. Um, so I honestly just put all of those back into a box, added some other things and sent those ones back in. Um, I think the only thing that I left out was the Max Mara green quilted jacket because I realized it was missing the hood. So that's probably why they didn't accept it, um, which is totally fine. I actually wore that last winter so I can totally wear it again when it starts to get cold again. They accepted eight of my items. Um, and it's all the rest of the eight items that you didn't see in the rejects um, and one item has sold so far so I actually raised all the prices to the max that it possibly allows you to change it to and my total potential payout um, after the adjustment was going to be $1,861.28. So I still have everything at the total max and I think there's about 72 days left for me to sell items. As the time progresses and if things don't sell, then I will just drop the prices incrementally until it does. Um, but like I said, one thing already sold, it was the black APC dress. Um, which is absolutely crazy because I had this on Poshmark for like around $30. I think I dropped it as low as $20 and it had zero likes, nothing, like no attention, nobody wanted it. And it sold on ThreadUp for $150. Like it has been delivered to the buyer. They have a couple days for them to return it if they want. I'm hoping that it doesn't get returned um, so that I can get the payout of $106. This single payout right here uh, pays for everything, even the rejects that I sent back in. So I pretty much got my whole money back for the box, which is amazing. And that's why I think that thread up is so worth it. Like. Like I said, I had an item that sat on Poshmark for so long. Um, I think my my initial cost of goods for that dress was around eight dollars. Um, so eight dollars to one hundred and fifty dollars, uh, one hundred and six dollars after the thread up fee. That's amazing. Um, so I highly recommend, highly, highly, highly recommend if you can just try thread up out. I know that it's going to take a little while for your stuff to get processed. Um, payouts take a long time, but that's something that you kind of have to just be okay with going in um, to the whole thing. It's so simple. You barely have to do any work other than, you know, checking on the pricing and, um, dropping the prices every now and then. If you guys want to know more about this whole process about selling on ThreadUp, I highly recommend taking my girl Chriselle's ThreadUp course. Um, she's actually closing the course, I think at the end of this month. And then she's going to be releasing a new version in October, but the price is going to go up by $100. So right now it's at $147. Um, in October, when version 3 comes out, it's going to be $247. Um, but right now I have a code for you guys. You can use Per Diem Thrifts at checkout for $40 off. So essentially it would only be $100. Um, so save your money now because if you buy it now, you do get the updated version later on for free and every updated version after that. So as ThreadUp keeps changing and evolving, Chriselle's going to keep adjusting her course and you will get all of those updates for free. So get it now while it's the cheapest that it will be. Um, because like I said, in October when she updates the course, the price is going up. And she also told us that she's not going to be offering any coupons when the price goes up. So I would just take advantage of it now. I'll link that below as well if you guys want to try that out. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more of these, let me know in a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram and we'll chat later. Okay, bye.